I'm spending a few days in Malaga, España, a beautiful city with old historic houses, palm trees and orange trees right beside the streets, an impressive cathedral and, well, this strange place right here. There is this huge dry riverbed in the middle of the Malaga city center, a place that is not that typical for this beautiful city because it is quite ugly. You see a lot of graffiti everywhere, there is a lot of trash inside the riverbed and somehow this place looks a little bit like this dry canal you might know from the video game GTA. You know what I mean? Well, while I was walking around here, I was wondering what the heck is this place? Why is there a dry riverbed in the middle of the Malaga city center? Why does it look like this? And what's the story behind it? Well, let's find out. The river you see right here is called Guadal Medina. It has its source in a mountain range called Sierra de Camorolos and it's 47 kilometers long. It has a lot of tributaries that are also dry most of the year and at the end of this river here in Malaga it reaches the Mediterranean Sea which looks like this. In Malaga this river splits the city in two halves. On the left side you'll find the beautiful old town with all of its old buildings. On the right side there are a lot of shopping centers and stuff. Well and in the middle there is this ugly riverbed which somehow doesn't really fit in here. Well, you probably can already guess this river didn't always look like this. In fact, a few centuries ago, this was actually a really beautiful place. There were a lot of forests around the river, there was great nature. But then in the 16th century, people started to cultivate the area around the river and that had some really bad side effects. To cultivate the area, many forests had to be felled. That seemed to be a great idea in the first place, because from now on people had a lot of land to grow vegetables and fruit and wine and stuff. But it also meant that the slopes of the river from now on were completely unprotected. And since the Mediterranean area is known for its torrential rainfalls, over the past centuries there have been many bad floods in this area. The situation even worsened in the 19th century. There was a Phylaxera plague that hit Malaga really hard and that devastated the province around it and many wine yards were left abandoned. And well, then the year 1907 came. On Tuesday, September 24, after heavy rainfalls in the early morning hours, a huge wave of water hit the city of Malaga right here at this place. And the first thing that happened was all of those bridges you see here crossing the Guadalmedina were totally destroyed. The first one that was hit really hard was that one over there, the bridge La Aurora. Those bridges were not only damaged, they also blocked the way of the water, so within a very short time, the water overflowed the banks of the river and the neighborhoods El Pergel and La Trinidad and many other lower areas of the city were totally flooded. Today, the flood of 1907 is known as one of the worst tragedies in Malaga's history. 21 people drowned that night, a lot of people were injured and huge parts of the city center you see right here and over there were totally destroyed. The water reached up to 5 meters high and the amount of mud and waste was so high that it was possible to access some of the houses through the balconies. It took like two months to completely clean the streets. So this great flood of 1907 was some kind of a wake-up call for the residents of Malaga, but also for its politicians. Something had to be done about this problematic river, Guadalmedina, so the king, Alfonso XIII, announced a few measures to prevent an event like that in the future. The first one was a dam and reservoir called El Agujero. This dam was built between the river's source and the city center of Malaga. It should retrain the waters of the Guadalmedina and release them gradually through a tunnel. Also dikes were built along the river. A few years later, in 1929, almost 5000 hectares of the left bank of the river were expropriated and repopulated and 30 hydraulic masonry dams were built. To protect the slopes of the river, colonizing species such as Aleppo pine and 
and stone pine were planted. But in the 1970s, around 70 years after the Great Flood, studies unfortunately showed that all those measures, including the Agujero Dam, are not enough to ensure the safety of Malaga. So in 1983, a new dam and reservoir was finished called El Limonero. It has a capacity of 25 cubic hectometers, so it's huge enough to hold back the water in case of heavy rainfalls, and it also supplies the city of Malaga with drinking water. And well, all those measures together are also the reason why this river, Guadalmedina, is dry most of the time. So this is actually a good thing. It helps to prevent such a disaster like the flood in 1907. The problem is, since this river is dry, it also doesn't really look that good. I have to say, it smells like a trash can here and in fact, it is some kind of a trash can for the city because there's garbage everywhere. And well, the city of Malaga also knows about that problem. Over the past years, there have been many plans to make the dry riverbed in Malaga more attractive. For example, in the year 2016, there was an ideas competition. And this was one of the ideas how this riverbed could look today. But unfortunately, all of those plans never were implemented. The newspaper Malaga Oi, for example, writes in a comment, in many other cities, the river is the most beautiful place and the hallmark of the city. In Malaga, the Guadalmedina is a shameful wasteland full of bushes, rubbish, plastic bags, excrement, broken glass and rusty iron. And the administration, especially the city council, does nothing to solve this problem. There have been numerous plans for the riverbed, but politicians would always bring them out when it comes to elections, the newspaper writes. After that, the plans would quickly be forgotten again. And, well, that is why, in the end, this dry riverbed in Malaga looks like a scene from GTA. <laughs> I can't say that this is an attractive place, definitely not, but it also has a quite special charm. So if you're into lost places and stuff like that, maybe this is a great travel tip for your next vacation. Have fun! <laughs>my story about the dry riverbed in Malaga. If you like this video then please leave a thumbs up. You can also hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss any upcoming video. And if you'd like to support me and my work then please check out the Patreon link in the description or you can become a member on my YouTube channel. Just click the join button and you will get exclusive stuff and videos before everyone else. That's it for today. Have a safe journey and see you next time. Then back in the cold. <sighs> bye bye.